<sighs> greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. What an incredible time it is that we are here together. So good to be here with you. This is Lisa Mubari, and today's session is Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, and I am your expert hypnotherapist right here, right now. Hello, Claudia. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to be discussing about energy, how we manifest things in our life, how uh, our energy within ourselves help us move us forward, and how our energy and the way we think, the way we behave also can hinder us and block us. So as a hypnotherapist and a stress management consultant, I have many of my clients who come and talk about, I can't do this. I, no matter what I have done, I have tried it. It worked for a while, but then it didn't. So what is it that we do? the way we think, the way we act, that either uh, helps us or stops us in moving forward or making that change or changing that habit. Truly, I believe in our life, the things that we want, it's not so much of what we want, the way we think, but the energy we put behind it. Why? When we want to lose weight, Let's give an example of losing weight. And we have done the exercises, watching, going on a treadmill at the gym. And while you're doing exercises and you're watching the news, you are impacting your body, not only with good things you are doing, pumping your body, but also putting in a lot of negativity. So in a way, what we are not realizing Subconsciously, we are putting negative thoughts, media, murder, mayhem, uh, car accidents, chases, and things that are not beneficial to dropping weight. And I call it dropping weight, and I'll explain in a moment why. So that happens without you realizing. It happens subconsciously. You may be thinking, I am doing something good for my body, and yet we are giving mixed messages. Because everything is energy, if we walk and talk about dropping weight and we go somewhere and we are amongst the people that we have sat, had food, everything, and if we constantly say, I am on a diet, I can't eat this, I can't eat that, in a way, we are dissing what we can. Make sense? So why not say, I choose to eat something different. I am on a healthy or I have chosen a better lifestyle and that food is not conducive to what I eat for the next eight weeks, 10 weeks, for my lifestyle. So you can even say, I have changed my lifestyle and my eating habits. And thank you, but I choose not to eat that. When we say I cannot, that means I am not able to. We know you are able to eat anything you want. If, um, well, if it's not a medical thing. Everything that we do is a choice. So if we are negating our being, our body, we can turn around and say, here's another example. I want to lose weight. And then you go and pick up, open the closet, and you go, damn, I can't fit in that. That's too tight. That's this. So in a way, what do we do? Again, mixed messages. I want to lose weight, but darn it, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this. Instead, wouldn't it be better if we said, I want my goal 
my aim is to be whatever it is that you want to look like or fit in and turn around and say, hmm, in one month, I will fit in you. It's as if you're talking to that size, to that skirt, to that pants, to that dress. Because if it is there, that means you were in there. You had it on you. And maybe it is not fitting right now, but you can make that happen. It's the energy we put into what we want as much as the thought and the idea that goes behind it and the work that goes behind it. So if I want to drop five pounds, let's say I have an event in March, which I do, and if I want to drop five pounds every single day, I look forward and do things that I become the number that I wish. Let's say my number is 120. So every day in every way, I do everything. I put post-it notes everywhere and look at 120. And maybe your size is size 6 or size 8. You put 8. Wow, harmony. Harmony and balance. Every time you see 8, you go, ooh, harmony and balance. Yes, my mind and my body. Yes. So in a way, the energy is becoming positive. It becomes a happy thing of what it is that you want instead of, ah, I can't fit in this. I can't do that. I can't. Now, we have two minds. You know this. Hello, Elijah. Hi, Robert. Hi, Michael. Hello, Martin, Jasmine, Kelly. Thank you for all of you tuning in. If you are here with me live, just uh just say anything. Uh, give me a number one. Just say live with you. Uh, I want to know, how do you deal with the things that you want? Have you come across this and the things that you wanted and it didn't work either as fast or as it's happening for you? Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. You see, we have this conscious mind of ours, this beautiful brain that I call our intricate, smart, intelligent mind of ours. And then there is another mind, which is our gut, our intuition. Have you ever wanted to do something and your mind says, yes, I have to, yes, I have to. And when you think about it, your stomach is churning. And sometimes you even get sick and without realizing you're, uh, you feel nauseous or you feel heavy, that's your body giving you a signal saying no, a deep no, or hold off, or st stop, stand back. And all that is to give you a signal for you to be in sync in mind and in body. So this energy, I have talked about energy, uh, about energy that travels to the tip of our fingers. When we touch someone, there is good touch, there is bad touch, right? Because if you go and get a massage, and I've talked about this and I want to reiterate it again and emphasize when you want to get a massage and you go to a place that the massage therapist just finished from one and you're going to the next one, whatever it is that they had on their body, the thoughts, the ideas, it's in them, automatically they come and rush onto you and they give whatever they thought straight from their fingers onto you. And if they are thinking about something else, then they're continuing thinking about something else. And that energy, whatever they're thinking, if they were upset with someone or they're thinking about something that they want to do afterwards, it's coming into your body, especially if it is touching skin to skin. Hmm. So 
So that's why sometimes after a, a massage that you want to feel good, you get up and you feel blah. Because although you got the massage, you felt good, your body was not feeling the loving, tender energy. So, and that is what we, I want for you to start thinking. To become more congruent in this mind and in this mind. So that your gut feeling, trust your intuition, your gut feeling. Have you ever been to a restaurant and they give you a, a, a table and you turn around and say, can I sit over there? Right? Has that ever happened to you? You make that change because for whatever reason, at that very moment, you saw something better and you felt, I want to sit there. Maybe it's because of the view. Maybe you want your back to the wall. Maybe you are waiting for someone and you want them to join and you want to be in a place that you can see the door. But whatever it is, tune in to your gut feeling. In hypnotherapy, in hypnosis, what we do, what I call it, the signature method that I have is the 3E method. And how I use it is the 3E, which is evoke what was, embrace what is, so that we can evolve to what will be. If we are not appreciating, if you are not appreciating where you are in your life, you can't move forward fully and completely. And I'm not saying that you have to dig your past and everything. Because let's say just the other day I invited uh, a friend of mine, a past client, to uh, a club that I went and I invited him for lunch. And some of the members turned around and said, so how do you know Lisa? And he said, I was a client. She helped me stop smoking. And in three sessions, less than three sessions, he stopped smoking. Why? Readiness, willingness, wanting to become a non-smoker. So I train not only this mind, but how the body is going to accept it. And if there is a lingering thing, if someone comes in and says, I want to stop smoking, and yet... I love the whole act of smoking, the whole gesture of smoking. It's all an emotional connection. So they are vested in with that entire, I call it, drama of the smoke, the smoke coming out. This is not Casablanca. This is not a movie. Humphrey Bogart is not going to come and sweep you off your feet. Yeah. So in a way, what is it that you are connected with? If it is the food, what part of that food or the enjoyment of being together, those are all habitual things. So in a way, through hypnotherapy, through hypnosis, what I do is not only, hypnotherapy is just a tool. I work with my clients to make a lifestyle change because we must move forward and out of our comfort zone in order for that change and impact to happen. Everything you have done Everything you have done. Think back. If it was painful, you came through it. If it was happy, also you came through it. Because our energy is like this. Sometimes we go down. We're not happy and joyful all the time. And when we are down, if we keep holding ourselves down, I'm so miserable. I'm so depressed. I can't handle this. This is not happening. So our mind becomes engulfed with those negative incantations, words, 
and word associations. And the more we say it, the more our body hears it, our ears hear it, and that is what we embed. When we want to make a change for the better, we surround ourselves with more positiveness, the gym, the walk. Even if it is difficult, if you truly want to drop the weight, if you truly want the love of your life, be clear. Be clear of where you are and what is it that you want to attract into your life. And guess what? Whatever it is, the law of universe, the law of God, the law of, uh, you know, your own energy, because it is the energy that what we put out comes back to us. And if I'm constantly stuck on the things I can't, therefore I can't. And it's like the universe and God says, yes, you are right. You cannot. And I say, but I really can't. And God, our universe turns around or our energy. If we look in the mirror, the mirror will turn around and reflect back and says, yes, you are right. You cannot. So why don't you go and sit? You can't anyways. But if we stand into our in front of the mirror and look at our reflection and say, today is my first day. Every single day I will do one thing to connect more into my body, to be clear of what I want. More people are clear of the things they don't want versus the things that they want to attract into, our, into their life. So, no matter where you are in your life, either seeing a therapist or a hypnotherapist to make a change, or you're at the gym making a difference for your body, listen to affirmations and repeat those positive affirmations. Jot down the things that you have done that was outside of your box. The things that you chose to put inside your body that made you happy. The things that you put on your body that made you feel comfy, soft, loving, even if it is a hug. If you were to say, every time I hug my child, every time I hug my dog, there goes one ounce out of my body. Wow, if that becomes your affirmation, believe it or not, if you believe it, that will become your reality. But you also have to say, up to, because it, you can't melt away, right? Because Your body and your subconscious will say, bullshit. But if you say, if I want, I want to drop 10 pounds in the next three months. And I will do it easily and effortlessly. And all this loving energy, abundance, and joy and happiness will come to me as I am feeling it right here, right now. Every time I, I hug my dog or my cat or my lover or my whatever it is, it can be every time I have a bottle of water. I am nourishing my body. I am cleansing and clearing. This makes me feel good. And when I feel good, I can do things. I can conquer more things. I can work better. My attitude is up and I am happier. And when I am happy, I make others happy. And when others are happy with me, we're all in a more positive, loving place. You see, that is the cycle I help my clients achieve because it is about boosting your self-confidence and self-esteem that gets you everywhere that you want to be. Hello, Timothy. Hi, Andre. Hi, Ara. Hi, Kelly. It is so good to be with you all. I am honored to be with you right here, right now. So in a way, I help you 
tap within yourself so that you can heal within. Healing within is being ready, choosing, and saying yes to you. This is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist right here, right now. And every week I come to you with Heal Talk Tuesdays. You can find me at healwithin.com. Uh, I'm, of course, on Facebook. Message me if you want to have a free consultation. Even this Friday, I was having coffee, tea, or me, or with me, right? It's coffee, tea, with Lisa, with me. And if you want to, I'll be more than happy to have 15-minute consultation. Uh, the slot is open for another two people. I already booked two consultations, but I'll be more than happy to open it for two other consultations. And let's chat about anything that you want. It doesn't matter if it is about hypnosis, weight, finances, relationship. Let us create the best of you in order for you to transform to the things that you want to create for your life. You know why? Because you do matter. And if no one has told you that today, I want to say this. You matter. Your body matters. Your mind, your heart, what you think matters. Your life matters to so many. When we are happy, time flies. When we are not, it seems that time stands still. Let us make time move faster and bring a smile to your face and a good feeling into your gut. This is Lisa. I look forward to be with you, answer any and all your questions and you can also find me on YouTube. If you like this, today's message, please share it, like it, um, post anything. I answer all my messages. And if there is anything you want to know more about hypnotherapy, by all means, call me and I am here for you. With that, let me see if there is anything. Hello, Michael. Perfect example of what you are teaching. You have an amazing shape and always keep fit. I keep fit because this is the body that feels good to me. When I start eating a little bit more or gain, which I have gained, believe me, but now I have trans come to a point that I talk to my body. I move, I'm not in the gym, I walk. And every time I walk, I become one with Mother Earth. I talk to the birds. I am, it's not about my body, but my surrounding. I rejoice with everything that there is. And someone passes me by, they might see me smiling or talking, and that is okay. And that is the energy I bring to my clients. I help with my clients. I walk with my clients because I believe in order for us to make a change, it's a change from the inside out. The outside is just a makeup. It's just a dress. But it's the inside that we want to heal and feel good about. With that, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you all for being here. Look forward to seeing you next week. Like us, sub subscribe, share, and may the universal light be with you. And God bless.